Uh, excuse me, what do you like about Get This on Triple M? All that stuff they talk about on there, you know? Stuff that most people are into, like whether robots should cry in movies. Where did Otto Fister go wrong in his uh, campaign for Togo for the World Cup? You know, stuff like that. Is Carl Stefanovic a robot? What kind of top spin do you get on a concrete table tennis table? Was Guy Pearce in a band called Video Rodney? You know, Ken Steve Gutenberg doing New Zealand accent. Is there only one canned laugh on the wedge? How's Tony Mockbell going in Lebanon? What is the Doctor Who equivalent of the new Pope? Will Rebecca Ramon Stamos ever be blue and nude? in a film ever again. How many coins could you steal from the mint in your undies? What animal would you steal from the zoo? It's a good question. Who's that chick that plays tennis a man? You know the one? Who's gonna die first on that skating show? Is Alexander Downer made entirely from pudding? You know, rock history, they're going back into the archives and, you know, talking about, you know, why was uh, Gary Newman convinced that we were glass? What was that about? Uh, what's that? thing they do, all me plums. I reckon they should do more of that. People copping it in the goalies. In Cavalry, that guy, with his, you know, prizes and opal necklaces and dolphins and shit. He's talking about, uh, you know, the best way to rip off uh, all you can eat. You know, avoid non-delicious fillers. What other show is giving you that kind of advice? Get this. Yes, well, it's not my cup of tea. It's a uh, tad uh, juvenile and its outlook uh, for my taste. There's all sorts of unnecessary um, language and implications you know talk about turkey slapping and that kind of thing it's i guess the young people the under 45s are probably uh, into that sort of thing but uh, you know i personally prefer the abc i mean you don't hear clive hale waving his genitalia about i don't find that sort of thing amusing they eat cavalier trying to um, foist a dolphin made of opals onto some poor person who's probably uh, got no affinity for for dolphins or interest in a, in a dolphin. It's inadequate. That's what it is. It's, it's piss poor. Oh, hang on. So I've just relieved myself on the pavement. Oh, we can use you that? won't use that, will you? Oh, that's good. See, that's just the sort of stuff that I'm talking about. Why would you put that on the radio? It's misjudged. It's got a bit of a kick to it, though. The award-winning Mercedes-Benz Vito invites you to get this with Tony Martin and Greg Medallion's fleet. Ed, I don't understand. The show hasn't started and already we're running late. Sorry, I'm just relieving myself. <laughs> that was oh, you. Man. Nice live that sound effects. Better. <laughs> oh, the language implications of all of that. Oh, medallions of meat. Gregory Fleet is here for our final show for the year. Ah, uh, indeed, indeed. And uh, I brought the caftan in. Oh, good mm. on you. And I see you got some crunk ready for us there too, Freddie. I got a little southern crunk ready to go and some yogurt. And I thought <laughs> I'd res- I'll recite one of them. Crunk. <laughs> live yogurt in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's all happening. We're going to be recalling some of the great moments yes. of the year, of course. Uh, Peter Costello versus mm. Rex Hunt. That mm. was a big one. I don't oh. remember it, but it's no, on the no, sheet. No, no. <laughs>